Hey, hello everyone. Uh, I'd like you to see this video. As you can see, these are very healthy looking tomatoes. And the nutrition value of them is higher than any organic produce that you get from the market. The yield is also 18 times more. By that I mean, if you plant 10 acres of these farms, it will be equivalent to 180 acres of traditional Indian farming. Now, at the same time, they also save 90% of the water. You might think this looks like CGI, but this is a real farm in Bunde district of Rajasthan. Now, the, in this place, we have no water. There is no groundwater at all. I would like to point out that the cost of growing this kind of tomato is just six rupees a kilo around the year. Now, let me tell you, how is that possible? And more about you. I'm Abhay Singh. I'm, I know a lot of physics. I, I like word a lot of physics in, in this domain. And after three years of job, I kind of understood that agriculture, water, energy, transportation, communication, these are the cornerstones of any civilization. And at the same time, I realized that the nutrition value of the vegetables that we consume right now, they have decreased by 30%. And there was a study published in 2018 by Food and Agriculture Organization of United Nations that said, by 2050, we will lose 90% of our arable soil. And imagine, we have to feed 9 billion people by then. So, it's an urgent problem that we have to solve. And at the same time, the problem, the solution, cannot be a very costly affair. It has to be price competitive. It has to reach every mass, every society, every state of society. Now, in 2018, we started Iki. Iki is actually derived from the Japanese name called Ikigai, mean to life. After years of research, we developed these patented growing chambers. Now, these chambers, provide an ideal environment for the plant's root to grow. Let me tell you how it works. So these chambers are made from a special material composite. So let's say this tent was built from the same material. You will not need to use the air conditioners. By that I mean we are able to create the temperature that is required by the plants throughout the year, even when the outside is 50 degrees Celsius and it will be done without the use of any source of electricity or energy. And that's the reason why we are able to do this at such a low cost. We are using this technology to grow tomatoes. We are using this technology to grow cucumbers. We have about 40 acres of farm. Half of them are growing tomatoes right now and half of them are growing cucumbers. The yield is again 18, 20 times more than the Indian average. Most of our farms right now are in Rajasthan. And we are trying to cultivate every other vegetable, fruits and vegetables, that an Indian household can eat. In fact, our vegetables are nutritionally fortified. So let's say, going forward, the, the doctor will not, will not prescribe you iron tablets, will not prescribe you potassium tablets. They will say, eat these veggies. And I believe this is the way it should be. We should be eating vegetables, not the tablets, to uh, fulfill our requirements, nutritional requirements. Most of farms are, are right now in Rajasthan. I would like to draw your attention to two locations, Jaipur and Lakheri. Now, these two locations don't have water of their own. So what we did, we built our rainwater harvesting ponds of capacity 70 million liters so that our water requirements are fulfilled. And at the same time, we are also in the midst of setting up a farm in Middle East so that the growing chambers that we've built, the cost effectiveness that we've built in India can be brought to Middle East and hopefully we can contribute to solving the food security problem in that region as well. In past four years, we have come across many problems and one of the very crucial problems that we faced was pest. Now, pests are imminent. They're not a problem that you can solve. It's, it's a nature way of saying that I'm here. So what we did, we cultivated our own bacteria and funguses. And we grow them in our lab and we deploy them in our farms. 
what happens is this good bacteria, this good bacteria and good funguses help keep the bad bacteria and bad funguses at the bay, so that our plants are healthy. We don't have to use harmful chemicals, which are even costly, by the way, to keep our plants healthy. We use bacteria themselves, and that's how we are in symbiosis with the nature. Our journey, our four years journey, has been has seen a lot of uh, excitement, fun, and uh, more adventure than what we anticipated. We got to build a large farms uh, in remote areas, utilize barren land, and in about two years, we hope to create at least a thousand employment for rural women. Now, on the note of conclusion, I would like to say that. Uh, I'm not someone who's passionate about agriculture. I'm, I'm not someone who's passionate about farming. I'm someone who knows that India says that it has a very high human capital, as in human resource capital. And do you know that uh, India also tops the world in malnutrition? Now at Eki, we are trying to make sure that everyone, every individual, every kid, every adult gets access to food, gets access to nutritious food at affordable prices. Thank you.